Hello and welcome guys to the channel Bulls Garage. As always, if you are new to the channel and love Lexus content, please consider subscribing below and hit that bell icon to stay up to date with all my videos. On today's video, I am going to show you guys the front lip. Now, I've gotten a lot of hate about this lip that it's made for the GS350 F Sport and not the GSF, which is true and I found this out only after I bought the lip because the eBay seller listed it under GSF, you know, that it fits the GSF model. So I got it, you know, the install wasn't the best. It's not the best fitting, but it still looks decent. So I'm happy with it for the price. If, you know, if, if it did, does get destroyed over speed bumps or whatnot, maybe down the road in the future, I'll consider getting a legit lip. But for now, price wise, it's pretty tight with money. So this is what I got and I'm happy with it. Side skirts on the other hand are perfect, but my brother keeps complaining, bully kid, check out his channel. He keeps complaining that the lip is kind of like tucking backwards and it doesn't look right. So let me go on the car and I'll show you exactly what he's talking about. So, in between here, you see those, there's those two pillars, one and two, and the lip kind of goes downward like this. And the reason that is happening because these two pieces right here, how they mount on the GS350, they don't sit perfectly on the GSF. So I'm gonna have to trim those back pieces and so they fit into the groove and then I could use a screw to mount this up so it should sit a little flusher and not look like it's kind of sinking down. Like that's a good angle. You can see how it's kind of going down this way. So when I get home from work today, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys the steps to do that. guys so i have made it home jacked up the car and i'm gonna modify this front lip a little bit so it looks a little bit better so as you can see kind of from this angle it slopes down this way i want it to sit a little more flush so what we're gonna do is do some trimming and those of you that can't witness trimming of carbon fiber pieces look away <laughs> just kidding but let's go underneath the car so i can show you what we're gonna do all right guys so what is happening here is there is a cutout groove that goes around here but this lip how it's designed for the gs350 as i mentioned before don't hate it doesn't sit properly so that's why this is kind of angled downwards so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this right here across so this carbon piece could go inside this groove on both of these connection points and then i'm going to use a screw to mount it up there so i'm warning you guys tools on a car if y'all are scared of watching this look away but it's not going to be that bad we're going to do a little trimming and make it look pretty so let's get it like that look at that you see we could have way more play and I could screw that in on this mounting point right here instead of here and we're gonna look a lot better so I'm gonna do that to the other side now Just like that, it's done. Take off this self-tapping screw right here. All right, guys, so after looking at this a little bit more, you can see right there, the top hole, that's where the original bolt goes, which is this one that I have from before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a piece into this carbon fiber piece so it aligns with that hole, 
So we could actually mount these up to the factory mounting spots and it should be good. All right guys, so now that we have our holes drilled, let's see if we could align these up and put these bolts in. There we go, one is in. Second one is in. Perfect job is done and it looks so much cleaner. Let me show you the look from the outside All right, two small trims of the carbon fiber pieces. And let me show you how a finished product came out Actually, I think it looks a lot better wife's uh, RX 450 hybrid looking clean gave it a uh, proper wash clay bar coating last week, so it's uh, finally protected Look at that water beading. Spray and seal from Sonax, amazing product. Anyway, I digress. Here we go, here we go. So look at that. Before it's sloped down, now it is nicely tucked up and it looks so much better. So let me put the car on the ground and give you a frontal view. Alright guys, there is the finished product from the front view. Now it's no longer angled downwards, it's pretty pretty even and actually looks a lot better. So that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe and like and comment below.